Hi guys. Yep, I'm sitting on the floor. Because I've been playing with an electronics kit. I uh, paid just three pounds for it in a charity shop. It's only like a kiddies thing to play with, but it's still fun to fiddle with. No. Pardon me. Um, yeah. Got a pile of various circuits there I can play with later if I want to. Right. Oh, try and get up. Right. Well, there's the finished table. Okay, I've still got one screw down in this side to put in. I keep forgetting. Um, my cousin came over. He dropped his PC off. Um, she was having problems with it, which, uh, I've been having problems with it, but I think I've fixed it now. Uh, I know the front fan had packed up on it, so I replaced that for him. And I upgraded the rear fan to a 5-inch fan, because he had a little one in. Um, so he's now got air being dragged in from the front, and the big old rear fan is acting as the exhaust fan, so that'll improve airflow. I think that was one of the problems he was having, was an overheat problem. So I did notice when I had the side panel off on this, that was chucking out a fair bit of heat. Um, not from the processor, but from other components. Probably because of the lack of uh, good airflow. So This one down here I've got also sucking cool air in. So... It did cut out on me a few times, um, and restart on its own a couple of times, but what I mean by cut out, I literally got that on the screen, just randomly while it was turned on. And um, i turn it off, turn it on again, and that'd be fine, so I don't know if the video card may have been overheating and cutting out. Ooh. feel like a sack of crap, guys, because I've got a cold. Joy! <sighs> and I'm tired, probably due to the cold. <sighs> then again, I didn't sleep very well last night anyway. Every now and again my ears pop because of the amount of crap in my sinuses and I can't get rid of it. <coughs> yeah, not even doing that gets rid of it. Sorry about that. Oh dear. I hate being an owl. <laughs> I'll blame the nurse yesterday morning when she took the blood for that blood sample. Oh. I hate colds. I hate being sick, but, um, period. Absolutely hate it. Um, yeah, apart from th that, I haven't done a lot. I did find this in um, Roy's, my local sort of hardware store, department store. Department store, I think is the correct term. Now, you can get these lights on eBay. Uh, I found a couple of sellers. One had it up for twelve ninety nine, and the other for nine ninety nine. And I actually called it a 10-in-1, but this one's a 9-in-1. But then again, on this one, it also says it uses two AA batteries, when in fact it uses AAA batteries. But I'm going to assume that is just a misprint on the package. You know, maybe someone didn't check it correctly. Which is more than likely when that was um in the pro when the backing card in the pack down there was um being produced. I, I doubt someone checked it. Um and if they did it was probably too late by that time, so they just rolled with it. Anyway, that little um 
little glitch aside, this one cost me four ninety nine from Roy's. Pretty cheap, I think they're it's in their sales section anyway. Um so I grabbed one. I wanted to grab two, but one I didn't have enough cash and two I thought if it is crap, then I don't really want two pieces of crap. <laughs> so basically all it is is sixteen LEDs in a circle. Right. Two AAA batteries go in this side. You've got two screws. For some reason, you undo the screws this time, with this side rather. There's the magnet. It's not a very strong magnet, but for what it's meant to be used for, you don't need one. Um, and then this cover comes off, you can access the battery pack. Got a button there. Um, and this sort of stuff is that sort of really solid silicony, rubbery stuff to make it a bit more robust. It does feel quite sturdy and tough. I don't think I'd want to throw it out of my flat window though. Um, yeah, but as for the magnet, um, this is actually designed as an extra breakdown warning light. So if you break down in your car, you're supposed to put this on your roof or down the road somewhere as an early warning, you know. You're not supposed to um, put it on your roof and drive down the road at 60 mile an hour. Actually, I don't even think you'd get to 50 before this would fly off, so I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> um, maybe 20 mile an hour or slower, that would be fine. But uh, anything faster than that, no, that'll fly off. It's just not designed for that. But uh, apart from that, I'm actually quite impressed for the price I got it for. So, here we go. That's the first flash sequence. Sort of mimics a rotating light. Uh, then we've got a triple flash, fast triple flash. Even though it's not actually showing clearly on the camera. At least it's not on my screen anyway. Uh, we've just got the quick sort of strobe flash. As you can see, sometimes the camera doesn't pick it up. <laughs> You've got that sort of um, wigwag effect. Alternating, whatever you want to call it. This is an interesting one. I'll do another three flashes. And then three even slower flashes. No, I haven't pressed the button to do that. I'll take my finger off, actually, so you can see it. Three flashes, and then three super long flashes. It's actually quite a good one, that one. And you've got st um, steady burn mode. And if I press it again, it gets brighter. If I press it again, we only get the two lit up. Again, we get another two this side. Come on. Then off. Um... Well, what it is, those LEDs are quite bright, to be honest, you know. Brighter than, a, you know, your standard rear bicycle light, anyway. So I think this is sort of designed to be used in poor visibility and poor light. I don't know how well it would show up in daylight. Um... I do like that one. Mm. UFO. <laughs> See, I told you I'm just a big kid at heart. Something like that would be ideal on my friend's bike trailer, actually. Oh. Just to have a little sort of gimmicky light for my co um, collection of flashing lights and things. Um, and yes, I would be daft enough to put it on my bike. That is the sort of daft thing I would go and do. <laughs> 
put a um, baggage carrier on the back and then stick that on it. As long as it's a steel baggage rack, it would stick. It would stick to aluminium, obviously. <sighs> I don't feel like it's got a tiny piece of sandpaper stuck in it. And that's going up into my ears now. Was it always at night time? You start feeling worse. Absolutely fine during the day. But it's first thing in the morning when you wake up. And at night, you start feeling the worst. Uh, I've got to go down and put the bike away. Uh, I was looking for flashlights the other night and I couldn't find one of them. Right. No, it wasn't last night, it was the night before. Here's one. And there's another one lying down there underneath this box lid. <sighs> I've got so many flashlights and I can never find one when I actually want them. <sighs> the bedroom looked like a bomb had dropped. Because <laughs> uh, when my cousin was here, I literally just had a fast whip round and it either got dumped on the bed. Those boxes have got to go in this cupboard, actually, down the bottom there. For packing. When I start selling on eBay again. Whenever I can be asked. Um, there's a load of computer bits in there that I might try on eBay. Someone might want them. <coughs> Pardon me, I've got that case to strip out. Got the friggin' trailer to do. No money for the paint. Because uh, what money I did have, I actually spent um, getting those Lego sets. So I didn't want to keep um, my guy waiting because he's had a bit of a rough time as well. So I didn't think that was fair. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. I've got this feeling I'm going to have another crap night. So I'm going goosebumpy for some reason. I don't tell me I'm getting the flu. I've got a flu jab in a couple of weeks. Don't tell me I'm getting the fucking flu. But it's just going to be evil. <laughs> if I can get the flu two weeks before I get a flu jab. Well, at least I said I don't need the flu jab. I'm immune to it now. I've already had it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, because you, when you're diabetic, you are supposed to go and have the flu jab. I didn't last year, I pushed my luck, but I'm probably going to regret it now. Oh. Yeah. Nom, 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 nom. Whew. That was my dinner. Got a small portion of chips. That was a first for me. I actually bought a small. Small portion of chips, I still left some that no idea why I keep wasting money buying up medium chips now, because I never eat them. Never friggin' eat them. Oh, what, you hungry as well, Nima? Um, I just had a couple of those um, steak slices. Oh, steak slices or steak pies? Steak pies, sorry. With them, the chips and beans. Not that I'm a bean freak much. <laughs> Beans and sausages and normal beans in there. Cheaper out of little. And they're actually not that bad, to be honest. I know there's... I know little can be one of them stores which is like Marmite. You either love it or you hate it, but... I would say don't knock it till you've tried it. I know the US doesn't have a little Or an oldie. Both German food, um, German supermarket chains, but I do like it. There's a lot of room for improvement, and a lot of room where I think, you know, they can do things a bit differently. Um, but uh, I have actually heard little are now going to pay nine. Is it nine pound an hour? The working living wage, apparently. And they're not putting up any prices of food either, apparently. 
which is good. Doesn't say they wouldn't put their um, prices up on the um, sort of household goods they do every week. They'll probably go up. <laughs> but, they don't bother me. But then again, every time I go in Lidl and Town, it's busy, it's packed. It, it's more packed than Sainsbury's most of the time, apart from on a Thursday. Then both stores are packed. Because that's when all the um, elderly get their pensions, so they come into town to... Well, come into town to A, get their pensions, and B, get their shopping. So uh, it gets rather busy on a Thursday in town. I try my best to avoid it. The only bastard is I get paid on a Thursday. <laughs> so uh, I can't avoid it every Thursday. It's sort of like I avoid it one Thursday, then have to go into town the next Thursday. You know, I can avoid it next Thursday. The following Thursday I can't. Ah. Ooh. If you're wondering why the camera's going up and down, it's because my hand is resting on my tummy. Up. Down. Up. <laughs> I'm in one of them moods. Oh. I'm actually hoping that I don't start feeling worse than I already do. It's a man cold. I'll go away for a minute, I'll talk to you in a minute. Ow! Get your fucking claws out, you bastard. Ugh. I suppose before I settle for the night, I'd better go and do the bike and the trailer because I've got shopping at. Got no bread yet, but I'll get the bread at Sainsbury's tomorrow. <laughs> I get the feeling my cat wants attention, don't you? Ah, <laughs> oh, bless his little heart. He's got his chair back now, because <laughs> I've got my own. <laughs> Five pounds from a charity shop. Same charity shop I got that um, electronics kit from. I've done nothing but itch lately as well. Oh well. No. The Black Record Shop has got a bunch of PS1 games in, but he was asking like seven quid each for them. Which at first I thought was a bit pricey, but then I thought, well, if I went on um, eBay, it would probably cost me that plus the postage. So, he had Grand Theft Auto there for seven pounds, but. I do believe I have it. <laughs> I do believe I've got every um, Grand Theft Auto game for the PS1 and 2. Just not above that because I don't have any consoles newer than the PS2. <laughs> you give me that look. <laughs> Or as I say, slave. <laughs> oh, mummy dear is on. I'll say hello to her in a bit, I think. Oh, did I take my pill? To yeah, I did take my pill. Fuck, didn't take the glycoside, and I went and got it earlier. Oh well, starting tomorrow. Just go to sleep in this chair. It's quite comfy. It's on the bed. I'm just going to get a blanket and I'll curl up in my computer chair. While he curls up on the table. There you go. We're sorted. <laughs> he 
probably would if I laid a t-shirt or something on here. <laughs> it's not going to do it. He would normally go for my finger. But uh, now I've got the camera on him, he's not going to do it, are you? Mm. Mm. No. Can't press him off. I could if I did this. Oi, fatty. Fatty, 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 fatty. That last time I did that, he did go for my hand. I sat here going, who's a fatty bully then? Fatty, 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 and you know. Eh, straight on my hand. No, I can't get him to do it. I can't get him to do it. Because the first is usually a clawless swipe with his paw. And the more I do it, the harder the claws... Oh, I just caught him on the nose. The harder his claws dig. <laughs> I'd never get rid of him now. Not in a million years. Yes, he can be annoying. Like when he's playing with a bag for life on the bedroom floor at three o'clock in the friggin' morning. So all I can hear is that rustling around the bedroom floor. <laughs> but even like that, that still wouldn't be enough for me to get rid of him. He's never done anything on the floors. Only ever been to the toilet in his tray. So I do like to try and keep his tray as clean as regularly as possible, don't I? More to the fact, because the smell gets up my own nose, if I leave it too long. So I tried to think what it would do to an animal with a sensitive nose. I blow on Mum's Jack Russell, she'll turn around and sort of go for your face. <laughs> Just a little playful, you know, arf sort of thing. She, well, she used to, she don't anymore. So I've tried it. <laughs> um, both Mum and Stepdad managed to break her out of that habit. Uh, Right, well, I think that's about it. I'm going to turn the camera off and, uh, and burp. <laughs> turn the camera off, go for a tink, or grab a drink. Say hi to my friend in France and maybe play a few games. I am really feeling bloody tired at the minute. I don't know, I haven't really done a lot. I don't know. Okay, so, thank you for watching, if you made it this far, hit the like button, or the dislike button, it's your choice at the end of the day, it's not going to bother me which, you know, it's your opinion, I don't expect everyone on the planet to like my videos, you know, YouTube put the choice there, so, you click whichever button you feel you want to click. Or don't click any at all, it's up to you. <laughs> uh, give the old subscribe button a clickety-clack, though. And uh, I'll talk to you again in the next video. Bye.